Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to turn any image logo into 3D in After Effects, easily and without any plugins. Let's get started. Here I have an After Effects PNG logo that I'll be using. Let's drag and drop it into the timeline. Make sure to enable 3D on the image layer. Next make sure no layers are selected in the timeline, then long press the rectangle tool and select the rounded rectangle tool. Now double click on it to create a new shape layer. Let's quickly adjust the size of the shape, making it slightly larger than the logo. Next move the shape layer below your logo layer and rename it to main shape. I'll adjust its size a bit more since it looks a little too large for my liking. Once everything looks perfect, we can adjust the shape a bit more by making the corners more rounded. Expand rectangle 1, then rectangle path 1, and increase the roundness value until it looks good to you. I think that's enough, the shape looks really smooth to me. Now it's important to enable 3D on the main shape layer as well. If you try to reposition or rotate the main shape, you'll notice the logo doesn't follow it. To fix that, parent your logo to the main shape. Now when you rotate the shape, the logo will follow its movement. I'll adjust the Y rotation until the shape's corner is visible like this. I'm doing this because we'll be adding extrusion. But first we need to switch our 3D renderer to advanced 3D. Press Ctrl plus K to open composition settings. Go to the 3D renderer tab, change the renderer from classic 3D to advanced 3D, and click OK. Note that you can also change the renderer from this menu directly. Expand the main shape layer settings, scroll down to geometry options, and expand it. Increase the extrusion depth until it looks right to you. Once it's good, scroll up to your logo layer, expand its settings, go to geometry options, and set the segments to 2. Then decrease the curvature to around minus 20. I think the logo looks fine for now, so we can move on to the next step. But first, make sure the rotation, position, and scale are all set to their default values. Once everything is set and the logo is facing the camera, press T to reveal opacity and set it to 15%. Next duplicate the main shape layer and rename it blur. Make sure to parent the blur layer to the main shape as well. On the blur layer, apply a Gaussian blur effect and set the blurriness to 500. Now rotate the shape and see the result. And that's what we've got, it looks super clean and really cool. Let me reset the rotation once more, because it's important to have the logo facing the camera. Now select all the 3D layers and pre-compose them. I'll name it 3D logo, then check move all attributes and adjust composition duration, and click OK. On the 3D logo layer, make sure to enable 3D to make the layer 3D. But if you rotate the logo now, you'll notice it doesn't behave like true 3D. To fix this, enable continuously rasterize. Now everything is fixed, and our 3D logo is ready to be tracked and animated in the video. Select your original clip, click on track camera, and wait for the analysis to complete. If the 3D camera tracker fails to analyze the video, don't worry. Simply change the shot type to specify angle of view and set the horizontal angle of view to 40. Now the 3D tracker works, and we can create a solid in camera to track the 3D logo. To ensure the logo is perfectly tracked and avoid any issues, select the track solid layer, press P to reveal its position, and copy it. You can now toggle off the track solid layer since we don't need to see it. Then select the 3D logo layer and paste the position property. Let's adjust the logo's rotation, position, and scale to our liking, then check if it's perfectly tracked. Everything looks perfect, so now we can animate the logo and create a revealing animation. Select the 3D logo layer and press S to reveal the scale property. Scroll forward to the point where you want the logo fully revealed and click the scale stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then scroll back and set the scale to 0%. Let's preview the animation. It looks nice, but we can smooth it out. Select both scale keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Open the graph editor, right click, choose edit speed graph, and create a smooth curve like mine. The animation is smoother, but I'm still not fully happy with the reveal. To make it better, go to the last keyframe, scroll back a few frames, and increase the scale to around 130%. This creates a bouncing effect. Open the graph editor again and adjust the curve until the animation feels smooth and nice to you. And now I'm 100% happy with it. Let's add a shadow to the 3D logo. Duplicate the 3D logo layer, then select the bottom one and rename it shadow. Adjust its position and rotation to place the shadow where you want. Next apply the fill effect and change the color to black. The effect might not appear because continuously rasterize is enabled. Disable it on the shadow layer so the effect works. Then under fill effect, set the opacity to 50%. Apply a Gaussian blur and increase the blurriness to soften the shadow. Let's quickly preview the final result, and we're done. 
Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.